Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to the boatyard. So this is the boat yard. It is one of my side lawns and I usually don't really fertilize over here. In fact, I haven't even applied fertilizer on this side of the house since October and that was a pre-emergent. So technically this year it has not had any fertilizer, any treatment, anything at all. And it looks pretty good. but. I decided I wanted to try some products out and I was able to pick up a couple of things from my local Ewing. So I found this Humic Plus 000 at my local Ewing store for $9.99. It was on fire sale, discontinued item or it had been sitting on the shelves too long. So a big sale and I capitalized, I bought three of these two and a half gallon jugs. This Humic Plus is composed of 12% humic acid derived from linardite. Sounds familiar. It's comparable to the Humic 12 by the Green County Fertilizer Company. So while I was talking to my guys over at my local Ewing, I asked them about some of their Impro products, the liquid fertilization and turf wellness program products. They had a couple samples, and they asked me to try it out. One of the samples that I got to try out is this Impro Kelp Complex. So I'm going to mix up a cocktail of these two products, the Humic Plus and the sample of the Kelp Complex that I got from my local Ewing. I'm going to mix them up at the recommended rates for 1,000 square feet, half it because I'm only treating 500 square feet, and then I'm going to apply that and at the end of the video you're going to see some 7 day and 14 day results. Let's get to spraying. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here trying to edit this video and I realize I'm not really giving justice to the kelp complex sample that I picked up. It states it's a powerful combination of highly concentrated sea plant and marine organism extracts humates, amino acids, calcium, magnesium, complex sugars, and peptides. So of those ingredients that are mentioned there, I want to focus on four of them. The first one is those seaweed and kelp organisms. That's great. Real great for turf health. Okay. The second one I want to talk about is humates. Humates help with chelation. Okay. They're a chelator. The third one I want to mention there are amino acids. Amino acids are great for, they're like building blocks. They're great for rebuilding. And then the last one I want to mention there, it says there are peptides in here. Peptides are a big buzzword this year. Everyone's learning about peptides, trying to get peptides thrown in their yard. There's peptides in this fertilizer, peptides in that fertilizer. There's peptides all over the place. So we know that peptides increase your turf's health. That's one major thing that peptides do. Now, without further ado, let's go mix and spray.
I applied all of these with my two gallon pump sprayer. I used two gallons of water in there with the mix because I haven't used this product before. I wanted to really water it down and dilute it to make sure I didn't have any issues with flow. And it worked very well uh, at this dilution rate. Also, in case you can't tell, yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit and that was part of the plan. So I got this application down. It's gonna drizzle and water it in for me. Stay tuned for the seven day follow up. Hey everybody, welcome back for the seven day follow up right here on the boat yard. So I know the lighting's not perfect. It's kind of uh, about to be midday. So sun's gathering up, about to have a better angle right over the top of us. But looking at the lawn right now, it is looking pretty good. I apologize for some of this wind noise, but we'll try to just get this video out real quick. Uh, the lawn is looking pretty good. It needs a cut. It's been about four days since I last mowed. Some healthy growth coming up. Again, this part of the lawn, my boat yard here, has not had any fertilizer since 2019. It's been fert free for 2020. Stay tuned for the 14 day follow up. What is up everyone and welcome back for the 14 day follow up on the boat yard. So it's been 14 days since that application of the kelp complex and the humic plus from Ewing's and so far so good. I, I'm, I'm pleased with the response that the grass has had. It's still growing, it's still growing pretty strong if I may say. It's been mowed three times in the 14 days and during that time it's had at least an inch or two of growth. So I've been cutting it pretty tall, about three and a half inches right now. And I've, I'm pleased with the color, pleased with the look. And uh, I mean, it's one of my side yards, so I'm cool with it. I think that it really took on to those peptides and the kelp complex. And I still have yet to put any fertilizer down on this section of the lawn. So some upcoming plans I've got. I'm gonna repeat my kelp complex and humic application. So in case you didn't know, I reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I wanna tell you thank you. I appreciate every one of you who have subscribed and comment and liked my videos. It means a lot and it encourages me to keep up this work and to keep trying to make content for you at home. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Best of luck in the lawn.